The Day of the Dead is a merger of two traditions, Mexico's indigenous customs and Christianity. But the only thing that has changed is that it's not anymore a pagan celebration. It is a Christian celebration together with the whole church celebrating All Souls Day. This merger began when the first missionaries arrived after the Spanish conquest and they needed a plan. It was a humongous task, but then they said, let's just take their custom, but make it Christian. So they took everything that they had for their cult of the dead, but Christianize it. That is why the Day of the Dead is celebrated in Mexico very differently to any other parts of the Catholic world. The combining of traditions did bring change. The natives' month-long celebration was shortened. They said, no, it's going to be only one day which is the official day of the church, the 2nd of November. The shift to Christianity occurred in very troubling times, and it was difficult for both sides. A miracle was needed. Then something happened, the event of Guadalupe. Guadalupe appearing as an Indian woman, she was probably the most important or central element of evangelization and accepting Christianity uh, in the new world. So important that to this day, you'll find her placed atop most altars during Day of the Dead. According to Google, the most popular Halloween costume this year is, are you ready for this? I wanna see all the guys in pink. It's Barbie. The dolls come in all sorts of <laughs> outfits, so a variety of costumes are available. Uh, Princess is number two, based on what Google calls the Fright Geist. Spider-Man takes third. Other popular outfits include the traditional witch, or the cowboy, or the ninja. And in a cross-holiday quirk, the tenth most popular costume is a bunny. Okay, so there's the popular costumes, and we also asked what is like the most popular scary movie you watch at well, Halloween. Well, it's right? not Halloween until you watch what movie? Yeah, so that's the question. Wait, cool it's okay. No, I'm not coming Hi, closer, Ted. Everyone. She's got a snake. I do. I do oh, have good a snake, Lord. and I don't know where it's going. Anyway, you got something. <laughs> no, you've got a baby at home. Oh, you, you God, it's right. right. here. Amanda <laughs> Winters is here for once in a while, and uh, Bibbidi Bobbidi Boo Fest is coming up. She's going to be there with snakes, and also, what do you have there? This is a bullfrog. Did you guys know that um, frogs swallow with their eyeballs? Really? Oh, and snakes never blink. I'll be darned. <laughs> okay, is, is, is it, I, don't, I don't know if I should have the snake this close. <laughs> okay, great. It's looking right at the frog. <laughs> Speaking of Halloween, Jen is out there at SeaWorld <laughs> Hollow Stream. That's right, you know, there's a lot that goes into creating the characters here at Hollow Scream SeaWorld San Antonio. Some of them are small, some of them are huge, like this one here. We're gonna get an up close look at a lot of characters and meet the designer team behind them. All right, we have got some great, see, you're having trouble with that snake. Halloween yes. treats as Try well. To get to you. <laughs> this is from Piece of Cake. Also, of course, October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And we have Constable Catherine Brown with us, a breast cancer survivor. She's got a big event coming up. And we're going to tell you all about that. <laughs> Would you get that thing he's away from me? He's coming for you. Or she's I know. He, I don't he, like he's that. He's coming for you. Please, no. <laughs> Well, we're closing in on 80 degrees. We're going to get there soon. 83 is the high today. Sunny for most of the day. Tomorrow, still a cool morning, but certainly not like the last few. We're seeing temperatures increase for the most part, and actually it gets pretty hot by Friday. 94, 92 on Saturday. Our rain chances hold off until early next week. Looking good. Thank you so much. And thank you for watching the news at noon with us. Remember that? I think it was Ray Stevens, but I, I could be wrong. I don't like spiders and snakes. Was that, that, remember that song? That's a country song. But yeah, it's a kind oh, of about yeah. spider and like, now they got scary movies, they got snakes, they got, I don't know what happened. That's I'm just going to say this. Fiona, you got a little baby at home. <laughs> don't be playing with that snake. Yes, they love Star She needs right. you. Yeah. Right now. <laughs> Celebrate San Antonio. Coming to you live from historic Market Square. This is SA Live. That's right. Harry Potter, it's then the lizards, house. snakes, <laughs> owls, the whole kit and caboodle here. Yes, good afternoon. I'm 
Fiona Gores Tisa. Well, that is the bearded dragon. Yes. There we are. <laughs> She's Fiona on on my ghost rage. And of course, it is the spooky season. And before we talk about all the snakes and things like that, okay, it isn't Halloween until you watched what? Mike gets scared by a snake. Well, that's anytime, <laughs> not just at Halloween. So, um, movie? Uh, let's see. Uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Nice. That's pretty good. I yeah. say the original Halloween. Okay. That one's still yeah, back, well, back in the day. So let us know. Scan that QR code. And if you have a, a good one, because there's so many good, and even the old Frankensteins and the classics and all that. Yeah, there so. were those too. <laughs> all right. Are you looking for some Halloween fun that's more magical than spooky? You can have a fun-filled day with princesses, superheroes, and some cute and cuddly and, well, it depends on your definition of cuddly critters. Yes. Amanda Winters, founder and lead animal specialist from Once in a Wild, is here to show us what you can expect from them from the upcoming Bibbidi Bobbidi Boo Fest, which is over at the San Antonio Botanical Garden next yes, weekend. Yes, we're looking forward to it. <laughs> so you're going to have a lot of these animals there and a whole lot more, right? Absolutely. We're going to have some furry friends as well as feathery friends and creepy crawly friends too. Yeah. Something for everybody. <laughs> and of course, there's going to be superheroes yeah. and you come in costume. It's going to be a great time. More on that in a second. But first of all, <laughs> Who are we going to meet first? Ooh, we are going to meet indeed. Oh, this guy at, right well, here. Look at Somebody the... is craving for attention, but we'll start with Steve right there. Who is you Steve are posing? Is that tail like a pinky <laughs> up in the air? Very you know, proper. Like, it's so proper right now. Well, He's you know, like, Bearded I'm Dragons are for known. Bearded Dragon I magazine. <laughs> he okay. looks beautiful, but you know, Bearded Dragons are known for their body language. Did you know? Oh, really? What is the yeah. tail? What's yeah, I don't know what the tail okay. means, but if he were to stand up a little straighter in the front and turn his beard black and start bobbing his head, that would tell you that he's not super happy and maybe sees another male in his territory. Interesting. Yeah. And you said if they, they might fight, but if they're not... If they don't want to fight, the kind of um, the one that doesn't want to really mess with the first one, he might give a little peaceful wave mm. and say, no, thank you. I will just leave. Okay. <laughs> so and then... They, the girls might do that too. They'll go, hey, yes. buddy, over here. So, yeah, that right? could also mean something different for the females. Like, hey, do you oh. want me to stay around? Like how or, are you doing? yeah, how you doing? <laughs> yeah. All right. Very expressive. <laughs> now to my favorite. Yes, absolutely. Everybody's favorite, the snake. <laughs> so this is David Boa, you guys. <laughs> David Boa. Um, one of our most popular snakes. He actually is currently our largest snake in the collection, but he's not as big as he will be. And uh, they're pretty bigger? sizable out in the wild as well. And how, how much? How big is he right now? <laughs> I'm not really sure okay. how much he weighs right now, but around 20 pounds, and he's yeah. around five and a half feet long. And yeah. you said the girls are bigger than the boys. Girls are bigger than the boys. Um, female boa constrictors get quite large, and they actually give live birth to many babies at once. They need to be a little bit more hefty to be able to survive mm -hmm. afterwards. And you said those that live birth, and also vipers, like rattlesnakes. Vipers do as well. So that's why the girls are, are And girls so. are larger for, for rattlesnakes too, you so. know? David Boa would win in a staring contest, right? <laughs> he would. So snakes really don't have eyelids. They have what we call spectacle scales over their eyes, which are clear so they can see straight through them, but they never really truly blink. You are right. Oh, uh, yeah. I realized uh, I so wasn't pretty. blinking while I was watching him not blink. <laughs> now the bullfrog. You know, she's showing her best side and her opinion. Sure, you can okay, help me. So okay. this is Frances. She's an African, there she is. She's an African bullfrog. Beautiful, a little um, Lazy Susan action there. Um, <laughs> she is an African bullfrog. We need one for her. Oh, she's gorgeous. Look how chunky she is. Um, African bullfrogs are from Africa. Okay. And they only have two seasons in Africa where they're from. So kind of like the savannas of Africa. So during the dry season, so there's dry and the wet season. During the dry season, they go underground and estivate or hibernate underground. And you said, even though she's chunky right now, that's yeah. nothing compared to how big they can get, <laughs> That's right? right. African bullfrogs are actually one of the largest frog species in the world, and the males can get the size of a volleyball. They are huge. And, wow. they're, and they play dad. They're Mr. Mom. They do. Right? So one of my favorite dads in the animal kingdom, they're single dads. Mom will lay a whole lot of eggs in the water, as most frogs do. They lay their eggs in the water. Like um, and then she just says goodbye to the babies and leaves and has the rest of the year off. And dad actually stays around in the territory and guards all the eggs, all the time tadpoles and all the froglets until they're mature enough to survive on them. And own. if they run out of water, you said he's just digging yes, for more water. Yes, they have strong legs in the back and front a little bit too. And they can actually dig um, kind of like a trench to allow more water flow to go into wherever they are. Or he can start digging down, down, down to make sure there's enough mud and water for them to develop into a frog. Wow. He's a great dad. Right. Mad respect. <laughs> this okay. guy. Yes, Hi. of course, Rango's back for uh, Harry <laughs> Potter season, of course. This is Rango, the Eurasian eagle owl. Is he an eagle or an owl? 
we will never know. <laughs> uh, well, well, he is, he is an owl, but you said you call him an eagle because he is so big. And he's, yeah, they uh, are one of the biggest species of owl in the in the world, but the females are twice as big, just like the boa constrictor females are twice as big. Pretty cool. And related, you said to the great horned owl. They I mean, are. They're in the same family. Hobby is there. Yes, they are in the horned horned owl family, and they're like close cousins, but like the big Russian cousin from across the pond. <laughs> okay, so I, I knew that the you know their heads mostly ears, but you said they're kind of like out of kilter a little bit, so they can. Yes, so they have big old eyes, but little more little known than their eyes are their ears. Their ears are actually crooked. They have one ear up high and one mm -hmm. ear down low, and that actually gives them triangulation abilities when they bob their head around. Have you ever seen an owl yeah. kind of do the, the head yeah. bob dance? They're not really dancing, although it looks cute. They are actually listening and trying to triangulate sound for their prey. Now, as far as hunting, you said mm -hmm. he can take down something that's how Pretty big? Pretty big. Um, the record was 40 pounds that we know of for a female Eurasian eagle owl. He's gonna knock those flowers oh, right over. He's um, in the to, well, you know, <laughs> um, he they they can get quite large for the females, up to 10 pounds. He only weighs four. But if a 10-pound wow. Eurasian eagle owl spots a deer that weighs 40 pounds, they can swoop over there and and get the deer, eat all they can, and then fly away. <laughs> okay. Don't forget, Vivid Coffee Boo Fest yes. is happening at the San Antonio Botanical Garden <laughs> Saturday, October 28th. Ooh. Of course, Winston. once in a while we'll be there with petting zoos and several animals on display. And of course, a lot of characters that you love as well, including Harry Potter, princesses that you may know, plenty of photo opportunities. So be sure to attend and have a good time. Family fun. And of course, once in a while, the all year round, they come to schools and parties, everything like that. Got Any event you would like. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so very You're much. Welcome. Wonderful as always. And again, more on all of these activities, salab.com or scan that QR code. All right, Hollow Scream is underway over there at God, the snakes near me I, again. I, have his, I have his head over Hundreds here. Hundreds of creatures have awakened. These spooky ghouls are part of Halloween fun this month, and today we're getting an up-close look. Mike is getting a really up-close look at some of the creepy friends you may run into. Jen Tobias Strusky is live there now. Hey there, Jen. Yeah, sounds like you guys have some creepy friends there on set. Yes, Hollow Scream is underway here at SeaWorld San Antonio. I have Chuck Caro joining me now to tell us more before we see some really cool characters, right? Yeah, absolutely. You know, Hollow Scream at SeaWorld San Antonio every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. It's included with admission. We've got daytime fun with spectacular. Not so scary, but at night when the when the when the lights go down, uh -huh. freaks come out at night. You know what they say. <laughs> yes. And we got some of those freaky characters here tonight. It takes a lot of people, over 300 characters, to come together to create. Wow the biggest and scariest and screamiest Halloween event. Let's have a preview, shall okay, we? Okay, yes, let's All do All right, it. well, let's do it. Let's see, Howlow Scream, here we go. Ooh, I First love it. up, now we've got a brand new haunt this year. It's called Bunny Bradley's Ice Cream Shop, and this is Bunny Bradley herself. <laughs> Bunny Bradley, her parents were morticians, and she loved ice cream. You can imagine what's happened next. She mixed the two together, and <laughs> serving it up at Howlow Scream. Now, during the day, we've got spectacular again. Not so scary fun. We have a Dia de los Muertos area, and this is one of our Dia de los Muertos skeletons out here to have ourselves some fun. Also a part of spectacular. Yeah. This one is larger than life. Oh, Remember, wow. this is SeaWorld. Yeah, this is SeaWorld. <laughs> we have to have animals. That's not a penguino. It's a flamingo. Yes. That's a flamingo. Yes. Fabian the flamingo. Going back to crazy clowns and some fun stuff. We've got something called Nightmare Alley. And you've heard of Jack in the Box, right? Yes. Well, this is Jack without the box. Without the box. He somehow <laughs> escaped the box, and he's out wreaking havoc. Uh, not to be wreaking havoc again. Dia de los Muertos during beautiful. the day. We've got beautiful marigold right here. You know, we even have an ofrenda, uh, yeah. Jen, where you can actually upload photos of your loved ones and it'll be displayed throughout the day. I did not know that, Chuck. That That's is. awesome. Yeah. Let's take it back to the evening. You know, we got creepy dolls. Yeah, they oh. run all, the, all around the park. <laughs> we even have a place called Colleen's Dollhouse. You can take a picture with them. Uh, they're kind of creepy, particularly oh. this one oh. here. <laughs> I'm yeah. feeling for the bear right this, now. Yeah, yes. you know, right. <laughs> this is Yarnhead Yolanda. And again, she can be found at Colleen's dollhouse. So these are just oh, wow. some of the many, yes. many characters that we have. Yes, I need to get a picture with that because my daughter just joined the crochet club at school. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she would wait love that. Wait, yes. wait, that's, that's what happens to them when they join the crochet club. Yes. No. So wait, you mentioned 300 different characters, correct? No, 300 actors uh -huh. uh, come together uh -huh. to create yes. all okay. of these gotcha. characters. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so um, Howl Scream and, and Spooktacular, so much fun. You know, Halloween right around the corner. 
you're looking for fun stuff to do, you like the fun daytime stuff, yes. you can do it, you can bring your kids out, they can trick or treat. There's a, um, a Sesame Street Halloween parade. And, um, and then at night, when the sun goes down, like I said, that's when it gets really scary and okay. intense. Not recommended for kids under the age of 13. It is kind of scary. Yes. So parental discretion is advised. We have six haunts, seven territories. Mm -hmm. We even have some booze. Okay. Boozy booze. bars is Boozy. what we said. Yes. If you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Boozy bars yes. for the over 21 crowd. Again, all included in uh, in your admission to SeaWorld San Antonio. And you, I noticed you call them haunts, and that's because there's they're different scenes, right? There are different mm -hmm. scenes. They're, they're different themes. Okay, so we've got, got Bunny it. Bradley's. That's that cursed yes. kind of yes. ice cream shop. We have Cursed Chasm. It's all uh, Atlantis themed. We have the Swamp at Blackwater Bayou. That's kind of Louisiana themed. Uh, so yeah, each each haunt, haunted area, haunted house uh, is just a little bit different. Oh, a different I'm so story. excited! And you're not kidding. I brought my daughter. She was she was terrified. <laughs> I learned my lesson for the evening. But yes, perfect for the kids during the day. I love Absolutely. that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So what's what are we going to see in the second half of the show? Hey, there's more characters, you know. So we're going to bring them out, and we're also going to meet Colleen, who is the person who designed all these. All right. Thank you, Chuck, Fiona, Mike. We'll send it back to you. What do you think? Aren't they awesome? Oh. Very cool. Not, yeah, not what I expected. <laughs> yes, no. The, the, what they do with those costumes yeah. and how creative they get, absolutely cool. And Jen, we're going to yeah. check back with you in a few minutes. Ooh, clowns. Pretty spooky. <laughs> All right, still ahead on SA Live, let's paint the town pink. The big event where they'll be celebrating survivors, honoring supporters, and battling against breast cancer. But first, these Halloween treats are spooktacular. Ooh, and they are tasty as well. We're showing you how to make some fun foodie designs and how to get all these treats for your Halloween party. Yes, indeed. Special boxes. That's next on SA Live. This is the Welcome back to SA Live. Well, we hope your Halloween is full of tricks and treats. And with these ghoulish goodies, you can guarantee one of them. And Whoa. just a little hint, the cookies, the green cookies there, Woohoo, they are so good. Ashley Griggs, oh, not that we, yeah, we had to try them, didn't we? Yeah, so I know. <laughs> Ashley Griggs, who is the owner of Piece of Cake Catering, I got carried away because the cookies are so good, has some spooky sweets for the season and how you can create some of these designs yourself. Are we losing yes. a microphone here? Yes, so what okay. are we making? And I will be here all week. <laughs> well, it's so good to see you. So good to see y'all too. So ah. today we're going to do a mummy design for the cupcake and a pumpkin design. Okay. So you can start with whichever one you like. Okay. And you said that these eyes can go on because the cake is moist enough and oh. makes it stick on there. Look and look at how mine's that cake crazy. Mine's got crazy right eyes. Back like That's that. That's the so. best kind, okay. though. Crazy it's eyes. Right for the season. Oh, yes. and so just now make like a... Your little stripes, just like a, a mummy. You literally just do your layers. Go back and forth. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, tell us what comes in the... Goodie box. Yeah. So Treat you box. can get some decorative green cookies. You'll get some cupcakes, some candy, and some cake pops. And huh. depending on the size, it depends on how much will come in the box. How'd I do? Oh, it's amazing. I love it. He needs instant gratification. I know, I do. <laughs> okay. With my little sweets like this. It's What's perfect, your favorite though. thing to bake? I love making cheesecake like hands down. It's so versatile. You can literally just put any type of flavors and stuff in there. It's beautiful. Look at okay, this I was Ted's mentioned. idea yes, to, okay. pose, to pose with my cupcake. So. All right, you had both hands free. See? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you had, right. And, and back to the goodie box, you yes, have a yes. large box and a small box. Yes, that's correct. Why would you just waste your time on a small box? Just go for the large one, right? Exactly. Yeah. Everybody's having parties and stuff. You might as well get a big box and then you can have as many treats as you want to. Ooh, I like that. Now, if you're going to be ordering for Halloween, mm -hmm. how far in advance do you have to place your order? Um, you need to place your order by the 20th so that I have enough time to for the turnaround. Okay. Perfect. Oh, look at that piping, oh, Fiona. Oh, I didn't breathe. Okay. <laughs> you right. did it so funny. Now, you not only do sweets, oh, but also coming up because, I mean, Halloween's two weeks away and then right around the corner is going to be Thanksgiving. And if you don't feel like cooking, give you a call, right? That's correct. I'll have some family packs ready to go with the turkey, sides, and you can add on dessert as well. Ooh, really? Yes, sir. And your favorite dessert over there is? 
as cheese you mentioned. Cake. And I brought a caramelized pear cheesecake. You keep, wor you keep working there, Fiona. I'm just I'll gonna sneak in behind you right okay. here and go like this. And then also you do the same thing for uh, for Christmas too, right? That's correct, I sure do. I'll have family packs for that as well to uh, be decided on the stuff to go in there. Okay, oh, don't worry, bit, I handled it. That's a bit cheesy. <laughs> it's Very so beautiful. good, keep going. Okay, okay. yes. All right, mm. so uh, tell us about piece of cake, because it's spelled like peace. That's P -A, right, a, just right? like the peace sign. Uh -huh. And t uh, you know, and tell us what else is offered with the with um, with piece of cake. What else do you do? Oh, so I cater, mm -hmm. I bake, um, I do it for a number of events, whether it's like small and personal uh -huh. or corporate. Okay. And so, if people want to get a hold of you, how do they find you? So they can go on my website at www.peace like p e a c e two one o dot com, and they can fill out a custom request form, or they can go on the site and actually purchase things as well. And All you have right. a deal too. And, yes, I do. So for um, the deal today, it's ten percent off of the large goodie boxes. And if you mention SA Live. If mm -hmm. you mention SA Live, the that's code correct. code is SA Live. So don't forget, code SA Live. Go ahead, pick it up. You dropped it. Place an order for the Halloween goodie box or piece of cake and get 10% off. For more information, just snap that QR code on your screen or go to salive.com and click on the as seen on SA Live tab. This is the smoothest, tastiest cheesecake I've ever had. This is You want mine? No, 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 I'll handle it. Still ahead on SA Live. They're putting on their scare spray and their blood red lipstick. Our spooky fashion show continues. See how they're taking terrifying looks to a new level at SeaWorld. Our Jen Tobias Strusky, who is there live? And next, making sure everyone in the Alamo City has food to eat. The new way families can make sure they don't go hungry and how you can help. It's straight ahead on SA Live. When you can't find the sunshine, be the sunshine. That's the motto of the Harlandale Sunshine Pantry on San Antonio's South Side. They're part of the Food Insecurity Work Group with Metro Health Policy and Civic Engagement Office, or PACE. And I'm here now with Harlandale Sunshine Pantry today, co-founder Lotus Rios. Hello, Lotus. Hello, hello. Thank you for having us out here today. So you launched this food pantry during the pandemic. How was this created? Uh, well, it was created in um, October of 2020. Um, me, my sister, and um, my friend Belinda Hernandez, we were helping those uh, who were elderly and disabled, and I was going into the houses and delivering these meals, but also seeing the need that was there. And it wasn't a need that was created by the quarantine, it was created before then. It was there pre-existing. Then in August, I had a stroke of 2020 and um, I couldn't talk. I couldn't really um, do anything but watch my children. You know, it affected me. I saw them thrive, but I couldn't get out of my head. The people that were in such an, a needy place, mm -hmm. we started filling our truck. Um, we were getting boxes from uh, Big Fresh or Big State, and we um, just loaded the truck up and people started coming. Mm -hmm. And then we ended up putting a little table full of fruit, and um, then after that, we saw how quickly it went and got in uh, contact with Jovita Idar, mm -hmm. uh, Free Little Pantry Network. Mm -hmm. They gave us seed funds uh, to get the first uh, initial um, uh, pantry started. And from there, it just started taking off more and more because of the food insecurity. And obviously a need, and food insecurity is a big problem that impacts, it's not just food though, right? No, I mean, uh, I mean I've been there. Mm -hmm. I've been there and it, and it didn't just affect my, you know, us not being able to have food. It affects everything from your mental health to your physical health. Mm -hmm. I'm a diabetic. My son is gluten has a gluten allergy. You know, when you don't have the proper kind of food to keep yourself uh, nourished, not just your mind, you, it, it, it creates a lot of things. That I, I became depressed. There are a lot of people in our neighborhood are depressed because they feel like they failed something. It, it, it affects mental health, physical health, spiritual health. Yes. And, and all of the community as a whole. And what are some things that people can can do, some tangible things to address this food insecurity? 
I think the most key things that we can do right now is talk to our local officials, but be persistent. Mm -hmm. Know that your voice matters. Talk with your, your local politicians, your state politicians. Attend meetings, do these things. Don't be afraid to go in and, and donate to these places. Get to know your local community, your, your community for your little pantry and, and see what they're about. You know, some of us are vegan, some of us are uh, harm reduction. See what you can do. Don't be afraid to use your voice and, to, and know that it matters every little bit. Donating to these places, because we're not uh, 5013, mm -hmm. you know, so we don't get the benefits of other places. And just going out there and knowing your community. If you see someone else struggling, please, any anything can help. Yes, well said. And thank you for everything you do, Lotus. And if you want to make a donation to the Harlandale Sunshine Pantry, you can scan the QR code that's on your screen. It will take you straight to their Amazon wish list or give them a call at 737-443-9505. And for more information on Metro Health, visit their website, sanantonio.gov slash health. Lotus, again, thank you for everything you're doing for the community. We appreciate you so much. Next on SA Lumber, spooky fashion show continues here at Zero San Antonio. Take the shoes off, you better run. <laughs> All good citizens, Paw Patrol Live Heroes Unite is coming to Boeing Center at Techport on Friday, October 27th. And you can enter to win a family four pack of tickets. The Paw Patrol is yelping for help as they face their greatest challenge yet. And it's up to the pups to save the day. Enter to win your family four pack of tickets to the show. Just visit salive.com and click on the Paw Patrol article. Don't miss Paw Patrol Live Heroes Unite Friday, October 27th at Boeing Center at Techport. Oh, oh, oh. Welcome back to SA Live and our beautiful, beautiful set decorations. Here we are continuing the Hollow Scream Fashion Show over there at SeaWorld. Yes, that's where Jen Tobias Trusky is right now. Hey there, Jen. That's right, we're having a great time, right Chuck? <laughs> <laughs> we're having a great time. And the fun continues here at SeaWorld San Antonio with our Howl of Scream fashion show. Let's meet some more okay, here. Okay, Next up go. here, mm -hmm. now this, is, this character is from our end of night show. It's called Monster Stomp. This is Adeline Wellington. Uh, Monster Stomp is the story of Jack the Ripper, but uh, it has a, a change. It doesn't turn out so well for him. And looking at this guy, nothing turns out Aww, well for him. Look at this. so sad. Look, the horn doesn't even work. That's Joy Aww, Joy the Clown. I love <laughs> So joyful, but you can find Joy Joy at Nightmare Midway and also at Nightmare <gasps> Midway. Whoa, Look at this one. Look at this that. clown here. This He's is taller than you, Chuck? Yeah, he is a little bit taller than me. <laughs> he might give some basketball players a run for their money right there. <laughs> We're gonna keep the, the vibe going with uh, Nightmare Midway. Uh, look at this one here. This is so incredibly yes, unique. Yes, is this Poppy? This is, this is Poppy. Oh. You know, you come on out here, you can get all sorts of good food, including all you can eat popcorn. Wait, wait, what's on I the popcorn, Jack? Yeah, yeah, that's roaches. You're right. Roaches, it's roaches. spiders. One oh, no. Favorite, favorite, <laughs> favorites. And another one of our favorites. We were talking about Atlantis, the uh, the cursed chasm. This is yes. one of our nymphs from Atlantis, the cursed chasm. Atlantis disappeared and it resurfaced here at SeaWorld. And you saw him a little bit earlier. We've got a place called the Swamp at Blackwater Bayou. Look at this <gasps> swamp creature wow. right here. Ooh. Oh, wow. Looking all crazy. The moss monster. The moss oh, monster, yeah. Bless. And then last but certainly not least, this one is so, and one of my favorites, so yes. incredibly creative. This is Carrie the carousel, look at that. But look, the detail. The detail is absolutely amazing. Those horses under there, they're actually <laughs> skeletons and there's lights <laughs> under there. Jen, all these costumes are made by an amazing group of people. It's our costume shop. The, the makeup is done uh, and, uh, by a great group of folks. And then our costume shop, at the end of every good fashion yes. show, the designer comes out. Here she is, Colleen McCool and her amazing group. Yes. 
Yes. Okay, Colleen. Colleen. Wow. The detail with all of these costumes. What goes into all of this? It takes a lot. It really is a team effort. Months and months of time goes into making these. I'm just really grateful. I have such a fabulous team that can bring my crazy ideas to life. The team is great. They're yes. all back here. They're always behind the scenes. Wave, guys. <laughs> Wave. They're always behind the scenes, but they're working every single day to yes. make the magic happen. So uh, what does it take to, to pull all this together? Because it's a lot. It is a lot. It is a lot. It takes a ton of preparation, but it's always super, super fun. So I definitely can't complain. They live in my head rent free. So I'm glad that y'all <laughs> get the chance to experience them too. You know, in addition to our designers and our costumers, we also have amazing uh, makeup artists, uh, Rachel yes. Gilmore uh, and her team does a great job with the makeup. It's I mean, airbrushed. It's painted wow. on there. It's just, yes. it, it really is an amazing team effort here at SeaWorld San Antonio for yeah. Hollow Scream. Colleen, do you have a favorite out of all of these? Uh, I am partial to my <laughs> clowns as a clown collector, so I'd probably have to say Poppy, our popcorn clowns. My Poppy. Favorite. Oh, where, there's Poppy oh, right there's there. Poppy, yes. <laughs> and you all know, right. we, we had the creepy dolls here, and we have a thing called Colleen's Dollhouse. It's named <gasps> after Colleen. Okay, yes. now we know. Now yeah. you know, too. Whoever's watching, yes, be sure to come out to Hollow Scream here at SeaWorld San Antonio. All the friends here, you know, we got a little bit of both some spooky, some Dia de los Muertos themes and all the things. Thank you, Chuck. Thank you so much for having Thank us. Thank you, Colleen. Thank you. Fiona, Mike, do you have a favorite? What okay, think? the tall thing on the stilt, whatever, yeah. That, that's, yeah, that yeah. would scare the And I like the popcorn with, oh, this, one, the moss too. Monster. Yes. Yeah, that yes. favorite. and the, and the popcorn. There you go. That's cool looking. Popcorn. Fiona likes the popcorn. And the faces. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Oh, ah, just all good. of them, right? You all oh. look great. You all look great. What was great. that on yes. the camera? Well, thank goodness they oh. can bring in the light for us. Okay. Thank oh, you, John. Something is that happening? A snake again? Some, something know. spooky? Okay. Spooky <laughs> vibes. Bye, guys. <laughs> All right, next on SA Live, it's time to think pink. The upcoming events where you can help join the fight against breast cancer and celebrate survivors. You don't want to miss this. And don't forget to weigh in on our question of the day. Fill in the blank. It's not Halloween until I watch. This is from Michael. All together as a family, we have to watch It's the Great Pumpkin, yes. Charlie Brown. That is so and, up and Mike's go for alley. for tricks or treats. <laughs> Welcome back to SA Live. Let's paint the town pink. There's some great events happening all about the fight against breast cancer and celebrating survivors. Constable Catherine Brown from Precinct 4 is here to tell us about some great events that are happening for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And also, Lilia Colston from Art Time is here. And this is the event, the Sip and Paint coming up here. So, Lily, very quickly, what are we doing right now? So, we are making a monoprint mm -hmm. using jelly plates. And uh, we're doing just the second step, and it's going to look like this. You will see it. And we're using different stencils. Okay. So we're going to put these down here. And Catherine, this event is coming up this Friday. What's it, uh, what's it all about besides so just kind of having fun? I had the pleasure of meeting this beautiful woman to my left at a K Elite event, um, a tea party. And uh, it was so magical with she and I talking and I was telling her about my event and um, Kiati, who's uh, the owner of Kaylee uh, uh, mm -hmm. events, she basically loaned her to me <laughs> and I'm so privileged to be able to um, utilize her services, uh, Lily's, to make this for all of the breast cancer survivors and attendees. And so this will be Friday night, and then there's another big event coming up then next weekend, and yes, that sir. is the uh, Shades of Pink. Yes, sir. We party all uh, during the month of mm -hmm. October. Mm -hmm. Started out with a little motorcycle rally, now this, the Sipping and Paint. And this is going to be uh, uh, contributions that are going to go to our survivors that we're going to honor on the 28th of October at our main event which is the Shades of Pink event um, that we're gonna have at Comanche Park. And you have civilian survivors as well as military. Yes, right? I'm gonna have three civilian survivors. I'm going to have um, three uh, uh, veteran survivors. Mm -hmm. And I'm also going to acknowledge supporters because you know the supporters hardly ever get any love. And I gotta make sure that they understand that we appreciate their, their help. And so. some breast cancer survivors will be getting some wonderful gifts, right? We are gonna spoil the mess out of them breast cancer survivors because <laughs> they've been through heck. <laughs> and I know firsthand, so I just want to make sure that they know that they're loved, we appreciate their journey, their struggle, and we're just going to love them. 
And oh, sorry. you are a 20-year <laughs> okay. ovarian cancer survivor. Yes, sir. Uh, when I was 25 years of age, I got ovarian cancer, mm -hmm. which was really, really scary because Gilda Radler at that time was the only one that I knew that had the same disease as me. Oh, wow. How'd we do? They're beautiful. You did great. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Wow. So what, what advice would you have for someone <gasps> who... That's okay. You, you were doing most of the talking. You were doing most of the talking. What advice would you have for somebody uh, as far as that may be diagnosed with breast cancer or just women in general? Women in gen general, make sure you do your self-examinations. Um, I was one that was lucky enough to detect my own uh, tumor, and a lot of individuals that I've met, that's pretty much how they detect theirs as well. So those self-examinations right. in the shower get to know your body. With the ovarian cancer, it was a little bit different because um, it felt like a normal menstrual cramp but um, it ended up being a tumor. And the so tumor pay related. attention to your body. Yes, the breast cancer is related to ovarian cancer. So if you've got one, make sure you check the other. If you got your breast cancer going on, check your ovaries and vice versa. But you had the surgery after that, and then... I had a baby. baby. Had a baby. I worked that, that little ovary to death. <laughs> I sure did. And out came Matthew, so yes, God is good. And, and um, yeah. yeah. Look, Thank you Wonderful. so much. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you for sharing that journey. Paint and Sip, Friday, October 20th at 630, 8721 Botts Lane and Shades of Pink, October 28th, 10 to 2. For more information, just head to our website, essaylive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Speaking of breast cancer awareness, a local hospital wants to help you make sure you have all you need, how breast cancer navigators fit into your treatment plan. That's next on SA Live. It's Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and Baptist Health System wants you to be aware of the symptoms and treatment options. We're learning more today with Dr. Morton Kallenberg, a medical director of the Baptist Network for Cancer Care. Good afternoon, doctor. Good afternoon. All right, so a lot of folks hear about breast cancer. Tell us, how does it start? Well, it starts with uh, uncontrolled growth of cells, uh, usually detected with mammography. Uh, you see alterations in the appearance of the breast tissue, a mammographer or breast radiologist can pick up on that. Sometimes patients pick up on it themselves with self-breast examinations. And just think about it as cells growing more rapidly than they should, sometimes in an uncontrolled fashion. And so, what is the best course of breast cancer prevention? Well, there's, there's both lifestyle improvements as well as adherence to what we call screening guidelines. So we know that patients who are overweight, patients who've had uh, a long-term exposure to outside hormones or what we call exogenous hormones, things like hormone replacement therapy um, or oral contraception, uh, should basically talk with their doctor about decreasing that use. We believe that women who've had over 15 years of exposure uh, may be at increased risk. Of course, family history uh, is a concern. That's a risk factor, but we know that if we can improve exercise, weight, diet, there is a link between alcohol consumption and breast cancer. Uh, so those are all lifestyle manipulations or lifestyle changes that, that can improve one's risk. And finally, doctor, what should you do if you are diagnosed with breast cancer? So when facing a, a, an obvious anxiety provoking diagnosis like breast cancer it really does like many cancers, take a team of individuals, of experts, who uh, are in a patient's corner to help them navigate those waters. So the first step uh, when an individual is faced with the diagnosis of breast cancer is seeking out uh, individuals who have dedicated their careers uh, to taking care of patients with cancer. Specifically in breast, there's three different types of oncology providers. Uh, a surgical oncologist such as myself, a medical oncologist who are experts in talking about 
hormone blocking therapy, chemotherapies, we have immunotherapy and targeted therapies now, and then a radiation oncologist who treats uh, certain types of, of breast cancer um, and uh, certain stages of breast cancer with radiation. In addition, one of the things that, that the Baptist Health System and the Baptist Network for Cancer Care provides is something that's incredibly important, which is navigation. These are oncology nurses who have dedicated their careers to helping women who are facing a new diagnosis of breast cancer um, or maybe even a later stage breast cancer, helping to, as the title suggests, navigate the waters for care. So being able to provide a one-stop shop experience where a patient can interface with experts, the navigator, almost like an expert concierge in a hotel, will help take a patient sort of step by step through the continuum of care, get the requisite testing that needs to be done. Everything, you know, you can, right? Just everything exactly. along the way. Yes, yes, yeah. and that's an incredible asset. Doctor, thank you so much. For more information on Baptist Health System and Breast Cancer Awareness Month, give them a call at 866-961-2448 or visit the, the website baptisthealthsystem.com slash breastcancermonth. Tomorrow on SA Live, it's Texas's largest beer festival and it's right here in San Antonio. Yes. We have a local brewer join us to chat about the event and find out what deals are brewing up. Plus, scary, good looking jewelry hand sculpted from a local pop-up artist. How you can get custom made Halloween jewelry and accessories. That and a whole lot more tomorrow at 1 p.m. on SA Live. All right, we asked you to scan that QR code and tell us it's not Halloween until I watch blank and here come the answers. The Shining. Yes. Here's Johnny. That's right, Joe. And <laughs> Alex says the Rocky Horror Picture Show. Let's do the time walk Oh again. gosh, oh no, he's gonna sing. Yeah. Marie, oh, The Exorcist. Yes, Linda Blair. Mm -hmm. Oh, Christine. Oh, there's a goodie. Vroom. Okay. Hocus Pocus. Oh, from Diana, our fabulous executive producer. Yes, that's what we did for Halloween last year. That's right. See you tomorrow.